What's going on, YouTube? GTA for Life 6968. You probably can't see me because it's dark and I'm outside my house because I'm, you know, getting some fresh air. Decided to do a video while I was at it. It's going to be a discussion. Um, I might start doing these a little more as, you know, whatever. You know. Um, so, pretty much we're just going to be discussing different topics. Topics that I want to discuss, obviously. It's, you know, not to discuss something that I don't want to. But, uh, it's going to be on the NFL and their, their refs, the referees. I think the referees have been absolute bullshit. I sh you know, whatever. Cuss, whatever, I don't care. Um, <laughs> um, over the past couple of weeks. If you watch, if, if you're, you know, a, a daily, a, a, a weekly watcher of the, you know, NFL, you, and you watch the games, you, you, you know, more and more, you come to just find out that the refs are, you know, some of their calls are just, you know, just like a retarded person made that call, you know, it's, it's stupid. Um, so I think that, uh, you know, I, I think they, they should be, you know, there should be some type of fine for them, you know, because they're making stupid, stupid calls. And I'm going to give you a couple examples um, here and there. And I'm going to see, I'm going to talk about what I think should happen to these referees or whatever, whatever. All right. So I'm going to sit down now and we're going to get into the real talk. So let's go. Um, an example, um, the Detroit game last night, as you, most of you most people who watch the NFL probably had to watch that one because it was going to be a great matchup. Detroit, who's who's been doing good for the past four games uh, at, you know, at uh, Green Bay. Or at, you know, or versus the Packers. Um, towards the end, you've seen that Aaron Rodgers just clutched down it to Richard Rodgers. Um, I'm going to let my cat in because he wants to get in the house. You know, on a great play, you know. He, you know, scrambled away from the, from being sacked and do a do a long bomb over to Richard Rodgers who caught it, and I think that the the play prior to that is what caused them to lose or caused the Lions to lose the game. But I don't think it was exactly the Lions' fault. It was it was the referees who definitely shouldn't have made that call. Cause no no lie no no doubt it was a great play by Aaron Rodgers on that clutch play. But the play prior to that it shouldn't have never been you know flagged and um it was pretty much where. 98 on the Bears, Taylor, I don't know what his first name is, but I think it was Taylor, um, he, they called it a face mask, um, penalty on him when he tackled Aaron Rodgers, uh, and, um, if you look at the rule book, or the, or the, you know, whatever you want to call it, the guide, um, I'm, I've seen, I've, I've looked at it online, and it says that no player shall twist, pull, push, um, you know, the the face mask on another player, and it was all in a, you know, a flag or a penalty. Um, but I think that if you watch it in, sh in, in uh, instant replay, you'll, you'll clearly see that, uh, Taylor never grabbed it, he never, you know, he never even grabbed it. He touched it with the side of his thumb when he was making the tackle, so there's no intention to pull the face mask, or, you know, yeah, pull, pull the face mask. All he did was a little touch on it, and when he brung him down, you know, it's not like he brought him down by the face mask. He touched it while he was, you know, making the tackle. Um, and and they're going to call 15 yards and first down for that. And, you know, one more play because there's no time on the clock. Um, I think it was, B uh, it was BS. Uh, the referee should have never called that because if you look at it, you know, of course it was going to be controversial if they didn't if they didn't call it. So either way, it's a controversial call. But I think that, uh, you know, it, it the referee should have just left that play alone. And the time would have been up, and you know Packers wouldn't been able to done nothing. They would have won, uh, tw twenty, uh, twenty one to twenty. What was it twenty four? Um. So yeah, it was. You know, I, I know a lot of Lions fans are mad. A lot of Packers fans, you know, woo hoo, you know all that. Um. But I think that if you look at, if you break it down and, um, analyze it, it it, it should never been called. It should have never been called. Yeah. So um, and then also the uh. Cr if you haven't noticed by now, I'm a 49ers fan, and uh, the the Cardinals game last last Sunday, yeah, got on my nerves. Let me say that got on my nerves to the point where, yeah, I was just pissed off at it overall, and I, you know, I went to sleep depressed and all that. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, um, pretty much what happened was, uh, towards the end of the game ish, um, there's there's a couple things on that. There's a couple things, um, where Quentin Dial. Uh, the defensive end for the 49ers, uh, rushed through the line to make the tackle on Carson Palmer. You know, he sacked him. But it was a great play by Quentin Dow. Um, but they're gonna, they called a flag 
Um, I think it was rough in the passer. Yeah, that was it was rough in the passer. And let me just say this right now: the way the calls are in the NFL, yeah, uh, you know, the way the rules have changed over the years to make. I mean, I feel like the quarterback can, can't even be sacked anymore without you know some bogus, some bogus flag being thrown, you know, by the you know referees that make poor decisions on the field. If you haven't noticed by now, it's obviously what this discussion is about. But um, they made it. You know, they're saying that he he went head to head with Carson Palmer or Quentin Dow went head to head with Carson Palmer on that play. But I think that was bogus because if you look at it. Um, I don't know how Car- Carson Palmer's uh, helmet went slightly up, but apparently it did. Because if you watch the replay, on Insta replay, uh, Quentin Dow never made any head-to-head contact, helmet-to-helmet contact. And also, there was no intention to even, you know, make any head-to-head contact. It was a clean, it was a clean uh, hit on Carson Palmer. And I think that the referees, I don't know what they're seeing, but apparently they're bats now and they're blind as shit. And they called that flag... Um, and that and that cost. I think that definitely cost them the game because I, I, I think it was like third and something, and Quentin Dow just makes a, a tremendous great play for the 49ers. and all of a sudden, you know, the referees want to turn it over and you know grant them uh, an extra ten or five yards or whatever it was in a first down. Um, you know, uh, you know, uh, what am I trying to say here? Reviving their drive, I guess, or you know, whatever, prolonging their drive. And um, it was it was BS. Yeah. And I was like, okay, if they score here, that that's no problem because then we could, if we score, we'll win because I remember that he missed the extra point when they scored. Um, no, no, no. Um, this was before. Okay, so after that, um, I think it they had like thirty five seconds or something on the play clock, or the yeah the play clock. And all of a sudden, I I'm looking at it. I'm looking at the TV. I'm looking at the play clock. It goes to zero. I see it at zero for like a second. I'm seeing it at, at zero for a second. And all of a sudden, Carson Palmer snaps the ball. I'm like, okay, you got to flag that because that was a delay of game, obviously. They didn't they didn't snap it. But apparently, the referees were blind. And the, I didn't even see the, uh, or I didn't even hear the um, the commentators even discussing it. I mean, uh, it was zero seconds left on the play clock. And Carson Palmer got away with the, the snap after like a second after the play clock went to zero. So I think that play was dead before he even, you know, before he, you know, even threw that pass to J.J. Nelson for, you know, at the one-yard line or two-yard line, whatever it was. And by the way, we made a great, uh, I don't know, hold on. I'm trying to think. There's a lot of flags, too, towards the end and when, when the uh, Cardinals were in the red zone. But, um, yeah, that was BS, that game towards the end. I think we definitely should have won that if it wasn't for the referees. You know, it is what it is. I'm not going to sit there and whine about it forever, forever. But, you know, it's just something that to keep in mind, you know. And, yeah. Um, you know, so overall, I think they've just been having or they've just been making poor decisions, poor calls. Um, and I think that they definitely should get their act together. And NFL should should definitely, if they keep on with this, the NFL should definitely, uh, there should definitely be some type of consequence for this. Because the referees are... Yeah, like I'm saying, they're blowing it for the for teams, they're, you know, letting down teams or letting down fans who, who you know, should have rightfully won that won the game, won whatever game, and so yeah. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, this this discussion. Uh, leave some comments of what you think of you know, the whole situation with this, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. There should probably be another video out, maybe tonight or maybe tomorrow. I don't know, but I uh, hope you guys enjoy and. Uh, Peace. Peace.